Alrighty, everybody. Make sure you have a piece of paper and a pencil. And I'm going to show you how to draw a water lily. And these are all pictures of water lilies. I think they're such cool looking flowers. They um, have these really bright colors and on the inside they have these little stems. And what I think is really cool about them is that they actually float on water. So they, they live in ponds. Um, and here's a, a picture of a pond. You can sort of see the reflection of the leaves hanging down next to them. Um, and a lot of artists, including Claude Monet, um, have been inspired by water lilies. And um, I just love the fact that they float on top of water. So here's um, some lily pads floating on top of water. So today, here's how you're gonna do it. Um, you're gonna start with a pencil, like I said, and we're going to build our lily pad um, from little lines, and we're gonna do it petal by petal. But the first thing I wanna do is take a line in the center of my paper, kind of like you're making a big smile or a really big bowl and it curves down and then stops and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make my first petal by taking a line that starts at this side of my curve and it and it curls down towards the center of that bowl I'm gonna do it again over here and it's gonna curve down towards the center and it's gonna stop um, just like right next to the other one. So they're not touching. Then I'm going to do a little tiny flower, a little tiny petal right in the center like that. And the next thing I'm gonna do is draw those little stems. And you have to put the stems right behind this tiny flower that you just drew. So right above that flower, I'm making these curvy lines that go up and down, up and down, and they're all stacked right on top of each other. So I can make a couple rows of them. And these, you wanna make sure these are like small little curvy lines. Okay, that's good. So you can see I did one petal, two petal, and a third petal, a tiny third one. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start making some petals that are right above these little stems. So I'll go, I'll go out from this petal, go up and curve back down. But it's gonna be small, kind of a little bit smaller than this one you made or about the same size. I'll do that over here too, coming out of this big petal, drawing a line that goes out, stop and come back down. And this little area in the middle, I could do another one. So now I have um, these three petals above my stems in the center of my lily pad. And um, I'll pause here because I want everyone to have a chance to catch up with me. And if you are um, following along with me, then make sure you are watching the next step. So I did my two big petals and then one, two, three, four little petals and all the stems inside. Now I'm gonna make some more big petals. They're gonna come, I'm gonna start it coming out of this one. It goes up and curves down and touches that one. Same thing on this side, go up and curve down I'm gonna do that again. So I'm, I'm gonna come out of this one that I, that I drew, go up, curve down. Same thing here, go up, starting at the pedal, and curve down. I probably have enough room to put one more lily, pad, lily water lily pedal right there too. So you can see it's like a whole stack of these um, pedals. And, um, Another cool thing about water lilies is that they sort of open up as they bloom and, and um, the sun comes out. So I'm gonna make 
a pedal that comes out and goes this way. And then I'll make one that comes out and goes this way, sort of a little bit more downward. And then there's this little spot right here. I can also do one that's gonna be a small one so that it's almost looking like it's like coming towards us. Now I have my flower drawn. And here's another trick that I love to do to make these petals look more realistic. So I'm gonna go into all my petals and I'm gonna make some little flicks of lines. that are, They're not gonna go all the way up the petal. They're gonna kind of stay at the base. And if I do that for all of my petals, it'll, it'll give it some more texture. And for these ones, I kind of have to just do it like right there. I'll do one right there. Maybe like three little lines that shoot up, three or four lines that shoot up into your petals towards the top. So just by doing that, you can see I have some nice texture. If, um, if I wanna make this sitting on a lily pad, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a line that's gonna start, maybe it'll start like right here, and it's gonna go out to the side, and then it's gonna swoop over here, and then it's gonna curve back, kind of like you're putting it on a little plate. And when you connect it on the other side, try and line it up so that these match. And then that should make it kind of look like it's sitting on a lily pad and um, you could even do another line right there to kind of give it some some more detail all right so I have um, my flower drawn I particularly love painting so I'm going to use watercolor paints to paint this lily pad and lily and water lily and I'm gonna start by painting the petals I'm gonna do them pink because I love the way that the pink petals look with the yellow stems inside and I'm gonna make sure that I'm being really careful about uh, holding my paintbrush so that you have full control over it I would suggest using a small brush to do this make sure when you wash your brush to put it in a new color you really swish it around i like to swish it for like 10 seconds and then that way i can make sure that i'm not gonna get the other colors in my palette dirty and i just i find this project to be so relaxing i love um, painting and I hope that you have fun with it too. Make sure that you put your name on your artwork and make sure that you are cleaning up after yourself when it's cleanup time and make sure that you have fun. You can also um, make up your own water lily colors. It doesn't have to be pink like mine. You can blend colors together too. Let's see what happens if I put a little bit of purple in here. Ooh, I kind of like how that looks. So I hope you have um, a good time with this and I'm excited to see your artwork when it's finished. All right, have fun everybody.